Many people are familiar with the psychedelic compound DMT, famous for being the active alkaloid in the ceremonial brew ayahuasca. But ayahuasca is not the only place that DMT is found. In fact, DMT is found in trace amounts in a wide variety of plant species. It is found in animal species as well. Dr. Rick Strassman, author of the seminal book, DMT, The Spirit Molecule, recently conducted an experiment that proves the existence of DMT in the pineal gland of living rats. But are there any animal species that serve as an active source of DMT? The answer may surprise you. You may have seen episodes of popular cartoons like Family Guy, Beavis and Butthead, and The Simpsons depicting main characters getting high from licking Toad's backs. While many believe this to be little more than a literary device, certain Toad species actually do contain the psychedelic drug 5-MeO-DMT, a close relative of DMT itself. But don't go licking Toads just yet. 5-MeO-DMT is only known to be present in the venom of one toad species, the Colorado River Toad. And amphibians aren't the only class of animals to contain tryptamine alkaloids. In his 1997 cult classic, Tickle, or Tryptamines I Have Known and Loved, Alexander Shulgin makes reference to DMT being present in marine sponges. The type of DMT found in these sponges, 5-BR DMT, was different from its chemical relatives and at the time had never been ingested by humans. For many years, this information went under the radar, with little known experiments being conducted in laboratory rats in the late 2000s. Eventually, an enthusiastic chemist extracted this indole hallucinogen from marine sponges, performing the first ever human trials of 5-bromo-DMT. To prove the efficacy of his research and of the chemical itself, the pseudonymous scientist sent a sample of the as-of-yet unscheduled chemical to famed vice science writer Hamilton Morris for testing. For now, this extract is pretty rare to come across and is said to be considerably more mild than its plant and toad-based counterparts. But it just might change the way you look at SpongeBob SquarePants forever. <laughs>